Welcome back to the channel, everyone. Thank you very much for tuning in to another video as we, you know, are close to the end of the year. I just want to talk a little bit about what transpired throughout the year. And I mean, I think it was a very tough year for us where athletics is concerned. Yeah. And uh, let's uh, look at it a little bit. And if I miss anything, you can always put it down in the comment section as usual. And before we go any further, please remember to like the video, share the content, subscribe to the channel if you're new, you know what I mean? And that you can become a part of the Coach's Desk family. Really appreciate what you have been doing over the years. Three years? Massive. And we look forward to another massive 2024. So, 2023 in review where athletics is concerned we have our junior athletes doing exceptionally well some well we dominated the character games uh, we did well at the youth age at champs you have some very outstanding performances you have um Boajem Krumi and Alana Reed massive 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 um championship that they had running equally their first sub 10 sub 11 in 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 high school Boa Kume 999 Alana Reed 1092 i think these two performances would have been very very outstanding from a a, a, a high school standpoint from the coach's point of view i'm certain that, that the coaches would have seen themselves as being him you know because they would have done what other top quote-unquote high school coaches have never done and if you probably look at the senior ranks some senior athletes uh have never run that fast either so it was a big big accomplishment um both athletes they went pro boaji signed with adidas and he is at the racer struck club a lot is expected of him um going into the new season alana reed signed with nike and she is training with shakira richardson there was a lot of pushback where that is concerned uh there was a divide where the fan fan base is concerned some wanted her to stay home in jamaica it's not good for her to be over there and some say it could improve her running with shakira and all of these things um a lot happened jamaica national trials was hot um you know so a lot of a lot of lot of track and field news um Elaine Thompson saga where I mean her coaching situation is concerned a matter of fact let's put it back to the trials where she seemed to have been struggling at trials she wasn't able to make the individual team but she went on to make the relay team yeah and there was a, an injection of a new coach where in in person of Shaniki Ricketts who helped her so she she culminated the season well and a lot was expected of her going into the season and you know the fun stay when it comes on to her her husband as a coach and you know a lot of talks then there was this big alabaloo about um retaining Shaniki Ricketts and then you have it that there was some big money request from Shaniki that caused the team to you know fire her or she stepped away because she was not getting her request you know and then boom Elaine Thompson era hired Shelly and Fraser Price coaches from the elite performance truck club so a lot took place where elaine is concerned and many eyes are on elaine as she you know prepare for her double double defense yeah 
So I mean it was it was a very good year. Shelley and Fraser Price on the other hand um had a very good uh year in terms of what she was expected to do. I mean she medaled that day at the world championship but because of injury setback and all of these things she was able to produce you know what she did last season so it was a very tough year for our athletes um on the men's side we didn't have any exceptional talent on the world scene in terms of meddling and stuff like that rashid broad bell was expected to you know challenge Holloway, along with um, Ansel Parchment, that did happen. So it was it was a up and down thing for us. You get what I'm saying? So at least went to see see the 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 medal. Um, we had persons in the in the middle distance. Ghoul. Uh, and 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 Nevasky and, and and the other ladies there who, who who ran very well. So it was a big you know. Um Sherika Jackson Sherika Jackson did exceptionally well throughout the season, improved to ten six, even people even though people thought that and in particularly RDD thought that Sherika Jackson could not have run that 10 6 it really shut her up um she did so well in the tortured beta it was basically left for her to chase the record and Sherika did so well she got nominated for world athlete of the year and I tell you her performance basically was overshadowed by Faith Kipagan why because if faith would have gotten world records so it 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 oh into a very good season shirka was still overshadowed by a faith kipagan not only that she, the, 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 the 100 meters is the blue ribbon event and shirka as one of the favorites was defeated by shakiri richardson and a lot of people who were hating and Shakira was stunned, was shocked by her winning the 100 meter in a, in a Olymp in a in a world championship record. So, all in all, people it was it was a was a it was a tough year for us in Jack and Field. I, I can't put it any better. So it was like you'd call it a an equalizer, up and down, up and down, up and down. Yeah. But I I believe I, I I am very proud of our athlete. You have uh Daniel Williams winning the uh one hundred meter hurdles, defeating one of the best fields out there in, in athletics. And um yeah, it was it was it was a it was a mixture. It was a mixture. Yeah. It was indeed a mixture. Um the throwers, you have you have you have athletes who wanted to do well but because of financial constraints and illnesses and stuff like that but nonetheless it was a 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 tough year for us i'm gonna put it at tough with all that we achieved i'm still putting it at tough because knowing what we're capable of knowing where we're coming from it would have been a challenging year for us yeah but I think, especially the the, the four by one that we lost, man, the four by one that we lost against uh, the US, I tell you, it was it was one of the talking points because they said that Elaine didn't want to do this and didn't want to do that, and Elaine team came out and said that's a lie. Holy part things that are going, people. Holy part things. The, the, the chuck and feel so nice that you know sometimes the 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 ins and out the intricacies cause issues 
where the track and field is concerned. But all in all, all in all, tough year for us. I mean, so well we did on the female side. It's 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 tough because it's been a while that would have lost lost a, a, a one hundred meters on the women's side. You know what I mean? And Shakira did throw us in that one, so that made it tough. Um, and 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 other areas, um, Ansel Parchment couldn't get it. Um, get it to pass, Grant Holloway. It was just, it was just our four by four team. We lost to uh, Femke Ball and the Netherlands team. Yo, it was just, it was just, I mean, trust me. Trust me. It was, it was tough. But we, 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 we made it through and we definitely look forward to 2024 Olympics. You know, everybody's going to be coming with their A game. And I mean, <laughs> if you're not say A, or A plus, you know, you're not trouble, you know. Them B plus and B and, you know I mean, A minus, no. You have to come with an A plus game. And trust me, I'm waiting in anticipation for the start of this new year. New truck season. On in earnest, yeah? The big guns are roll out yet. Probably early next year they're gonna roll out. Well let us see. You understand? And um where 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 the new season is concerned, I'm excited. Very excited. Um whatever I miss out people tell me now. What did I miss out? What did I fail to mention? Because I'm not really working from a script, you know, people. Oh, you have Christopher Taylor's situation where he was banned. Okokbari, the whole um scandal with the, the, the two Jamaicans, right? And Jared who was involved in that um, grand scheme where doping is concerned. You have a whole part exactly in track and field. The whole part thing. Chris Taylor situation, um, you know, and, and, and the youth want to quit and all of these things. But let us see what will transpire. There was also the splitting of the Titans track club. You know, there was a mass exodus. And Michael Freiter would have basically have most of those athletes formed a new club and that lay that leaves titans in wonderland like alice right now so these are some of the things that happen you know a lot of um switches took place um uh, um athletes moving from club to club you also have the drug situation with Ronald Levy, the doping situation. So a whole heap of things happening at the track and field room this year, you know, people. Tough year for us. You know what I mean? Um, yeah, like I said, if I miss anything, just let me know. Probably miss out, people. Put it in the comment section. Until next time, stay safe. Peace out.